Ladies and gentlemen, I am KZ and welcome back. KZ should also not be listening to music at the same time as starting recording. Then he has to click around until he gets the music off. Uh, why am I listening to Megadeth? No, I am not listening to Megadeth. I was making a joke. The joke was not funny because it was not delivered in a way last time. We're going to try and find out what, um, how uh, Miss Rosalia died. Seems we found her. There's no way to extract her blood, but we're, we're grasping at straws here. Uh, I, I have a little walkthrough up, and I looked up. What the hell I have to do to get her to do things here? Could this blood have come from the chest wound? There's something odd about it, though. And I just opened a guy for a second and it said, Look at the splattered blood on the chest. And I'm like, oh, great. And by God, I mean I googled it. Mm. And someone's like, did you check her chest? And I'm like, yeah, and then, ugh. It's just so hard to find help these days, guys. It's fine, the blood stains on each other, blah, blah, blah. It makes sense that they're, um, splattered around. Hooray, we have the last thing uh, I, I have to assume we could get. Yes, if it was hemorrhaging from the chest, it would only be coming from one end. If it's spattered around this much, it means there's another reason for this hemorrhaging. Okay, we have pretty much have everything we need to know. So why don't we return to the helicopter and our little guy Husbondo and see what we can do. Okay. Fine blood stains on her clothing are from the gunshot wound on the chest. There must be another reason. Alright, you won't give me anything with that. Can't get one of these. Huh. Let's see. Ah, oh, well, this is, this is gonna be, uh... This ain't gonna be good, guys. Oh no, KZ, KZ's having issues figuring this out. Oh, oh god. Y you know that Things are gonna, like, start falling apart as soon as KZ doesn't actually know what to do. Oh, man. Ah, what can I do? Is there anywhere else to go? Can I go anywhere else? No. Oh. Well, there is another location. Well, if there actually is stuff, then it's shame on me. What's it doing in a place like this? Well, now I feel dumb. Turns out there's even there's more to investigate. In that case. I'd better have this analyzed. Hmm? This is a bloodstain. Could this be related to the case? I should get this analyzed at once. Hmm, maybe this has to do with uh, the gash on her foot. Okay. Yeah, let's just use all of this here. I like how it doesn't light up even though there's clearly blood. I was just being a meanie. These weren't cleaned up. Could this mean these blood stains were from when the incident occurred? Well, that makes sense. Of course, she won't say it like that. She has to say everything like a question because, you know, semantics, you know, conjecture. Is this blood Rosalie's? Or... We need definitive answers. Broken recorder. Is this a voice recorder? I wonder if there's anything recorded on it. 
It seems to be broken. I hope the data inside can be retrieved. Uh, well, I hope so. M then maybe we could get some stuff done here. Wait a minute. Oh, is that a window outside? Okay. I was like, is that a mysterious monitor? on that. Hmm, no dice on that either. Nothing's immediately catching my eye, so... Spray everything! Uh, powder. Oh, shit. Come on. Hmm. Is this a bullet case? Not a standard piece of lab equipment. If I have this analyzed, I might learn some more details about it. Wait, 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 wait. That, that's by broken. The accumulation of dust, it doesn't look like this was shattered recently. Nice. See, we're finding shit. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. This might not necessarily relate to this case, but it should be looked at, just to be sure. Oh, okay, we're done. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Looks like we have all the evidence that we would need for a little bit, I'd like to say. Hopefully this will be enough to make at least one or two revelations in the case. I thought I'd like to point out that we only have a couple of missions left. We are really close to finishing this game. As you can see. Okay, he'll examine that. Little guy, can I borrow you for a moment? Of course. Do you need something analyzed? I found this bullet casing near the entrance to the room. Hmm. Alright, let me take a look at it. How does it look? Can you tell me anything from it? Uh, it's a 9mm round, usually used in handguns all over the world. Okay, I get it. It's not all that special. Alright, not a special Pretty thing yes. at all. I'll let you know if I find out anything else about it. Yes, please do. So, was it Mr. Dr. Sard who was behind in her murder? But why? That doesn't make sense. Hey, little guy. I want to know more about this bullet casing. Okay. Let's see here. Well, what can you tell me? First of all, it's a case for a 9mm round. Bullets that size are normally used in handguns. Huh. So it's not something rare that could be a big clue for us. Unfortunately, that's correct. Alright. But why was a bullet casing on the floor inside a lab? That question might lead us to some important information. Indeed. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, I found out something new. Hmm? Great. What is it? Well, the bullet cases that you found under the desk and at the entryway. Don't tell me. They both have a characteristic abrasion in the same area on their sides. A characteristic abrasion? Yes, likely formed when the empty casing is ejected from the chamber after firing. It was ejected? Are you saying the gun was an automatic? Well, the evidence suggests the use of a semi-automatic pistol, not a revolver. Hmm. So, a casing is ejected after every round fired? Yes, that would be the case. That would mean that the place is where we found those shell casings. A shot was fired. Yes. It means that the gun was fired near those places. Okay, we're putting it together. We're putting it together. 
we combine these two together? Okay, I didn't know if they you did that. See if you can get some stuff out of this. Hey, little guy, do you think this can be repaired? Oh, this is one old recorder. I know. I want to see what's in this. Yikes! This can't be fixed. Not even I could do it. Hmm. Let me see. That's unfortunate. Hey, wait a second. I can't fix the machine itself, but I might be able to get at whatever data has been saved on it. That would be great. Can you get on that? Okay. Can you connect the recorder to the computer over on your end? All right. One second. There. What's next? You don't have to do anything else. I'm going to try taking a look at the data from here. You can do that remotely? What an age we live in. Really? It's not that difficult. Don't you know how to use a computer? Zip it. Just hurry up and start looking already. I'm getting mad. You should be thanking me for this. What was that? Uh, nothing. I I'm on it. And? Huh. Looks like most of the data's been corrupted. Wait. This file might still be intact. We can play this one as is. Hmm. All right. Transfer it over here. Right away. You're going to listen to it on your own machine, right? I'll name the file Record01 and send it over to you. Good. I'll try listening to it. Does the rest of the data look like it can be repaired? Hmm. I can't really say for sure myself. I'll talk to the lab techs about it. If the files can be reconstructed, I'll send the data over to you. All right. I'll be looking forward to hearing some good news from you. <laughs> no pressure, right? All right. We have something to listen to. I'm guessing this is Mr. Sark. There wasn't really much we could get out of it, though. Alright. I feel like neither of these would actually go into her thing there. Either with that or this. But wait, there, we can hit left. A lot. Like, we can hit left a lot. close to reaching a dead end again. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to go back in because they I shouldn't have anything else. This has dots and this has dots, but they're different materials, so I don't think it's right. Yeah, that's like... Maybe this? Yes. Ah! If I think about what happened at the time of the murder, these do have a common link. These fine blood stains spatter in Rosalia's clothing. This hemorrhaging was most likely caused by... Bloodstains are clothing or 
generally from leading from the right palm when she took the defensive wound. That's right. There was a defensive wound on Rosalia's palm. The killer turned his gun on this girl and pulled the trigger. That bullet tore through the hand she held up, ineffectually trying to ward off the blow. It then continued into her body, piercing. <sighs> the fine blood stains were from the blood that came from her hand. The events of Rosalia's death are becoming clear. First, the cause of death. The wound that killed Rosalia was... Gunshot to the chest, piercing her heart. Right. The bullet that went through her chest struck her heart, ending her life. Now, what direction did that fatal shot come from? That shot came from the front. Indeed. The entrance and exit wounds tell us the path of the bullet through her body. Rosalia was alive just before this shot as well. The evidence for this is... Proof of this would be a uh, defensive wound on her palm. That would imply she fought back. Yes. The wound on her palm is a defensive one, caused by her trying to protect herself from the gunshot. Her right hand also has another piece of important evidence. That is... Huh. The other important clue left by her palm is the uh, gunshot residue, proving that it was a close Indeed. shot. The gunshot residue from the shot that killed her gunshot residue was left behind when at close range yes gunshot residue is found on targets that have been shot at close range we can tell that rosalia had been shot in the chest from a short distance away uh, what would drive someone to be so determined to kill rosalia hmm murderous intent Killer fatally shot her from this range, even though she was helpless while I go that far. Hmm. Oh yeah, examine this. Hey, little guy. I found a blood stain on the floor here. Blood stain? Isn't it just another one left by Rosalia? Hmm. Making assumptions is a dangerous habit. I need you to go over this in detail. Got it. I'll have to receive the data from the helicopter's equipment and merge it with what we have here. Then I'll have to use that to come up with analysis results. Is that okay? Will it take time? We're racing against the clock as it is. Yes, but I'll try to hurry it along. There are more and more patients piling up here. All right, contact me when the results come in. All right, we're still waiting on that. So we ain't, we're not really getting much out of that. Well, that's, uh... Yeah, we're not really getting much out of this. So we gotta go look around again. Dr. Kimishima, we've finished the analysis on that blood stain. Never mind. You mean the blood stain that was on the floor? Great. What were the results? Was that Rosalia's blood after all? Actually, about that, it didn't match her DNA. Huh. Then who's... That blood was Albert Sartre's. What? It's Albert's blood? Hey! That's funny. They're all saying... They're, people are starting to say his name differently. Naval or little guy over here said... Sartre. And, uh, we've heard Sartre from other people. There's no mistake. I compared it with the DNA we examined before. Then, does that mean Albert was also injured? Like Rosalia? I don't know about that. But considering that Rosalia had been shot... Was he also shot? Dr. Kimishima. We don't know if that's the case yet. We can't know until we investigate this. This bloodstain. It'd be best if I looked into it for more details. I... Is there anything else to investigate over here, though? Nah, nah, there shouldn't be anything left to do over here. 
However, that gave us a little piece of evidence, which means I can throw cards at each other. Zalbear's Bloodstain. Bullet Cave Nature. That doesn't seem to work either. Hmm. Is there anywhere else we can go? Can we go back to the other lab, maybe? Can we do that? Because I don't have much else. We can move to the flower field. Oh, oh, wait, that's actually a different area. I wasn't aware that that was actually a thing. I just, just... For some reason, I assumed that's just where the body was. So if we can actually examine this, that's cool. Another bullet casing here? I didn't see it among all these flowers. This may be an important clue. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to actually get anything. Is that the only thing they could have given us about this? That is awkward. Only giving me one thing over here and it just being one bullet casing. Whatever, I guess I can't complain. Maybe... Oh. Dr. Kimishima, the analysis results are in. Good. Which analysis was this? It's for the glass from the door at the entrance. Huh. Alright. Tell me what you've got. Right. Analyze the broken glass. We can determine the direction the glass shattered in from the stress marks on the edges of the fracture. Stress marks? It refers to the marks left on the inner edges of a fracture line when the glass is broken. The direction of impact can be found by studying the stress marks on the fractures. Is that so? And what did you find? Well, the glass wasn't shattered from the outside. The blow that broke it came from inside. All right. Inside? So nobody shot into the room from outside, then? That appears to be the case. But one more thing about that glass. We weren't able to find any evidence like fingerprints or gunshot residue on it. I see. So the glass was shattered from the inside out. Okay. So we're continuing to learn quite a bit about this, uh, this murder. And here's where we're going to cut for now. So next time on Let's Play Trauma Team, we will probably finish up uh, Naomi's final parts of Trauma Team. Until then, everybody.